welcome back to Jared and Prince Woo! today. Welcome back to a sunny Florida. So it's kind of funny, on the news it shows that the hurricane is like on its way here and it's like raining right now and it's like we're standing outside. We're... I know, a few of you guys are supposed to be an action message and be like, we hope you guys are staying safe. It shows it's raining there right now already. And sometimes, I mean, it may show that, yeah. but. It is raining somewhere, just yeah. not where we are. Not where we're at. So yeah. we are came out because we do know the hurricane is yeah. forming. You guys, fingers crossed, it is not bad. I know. A lot of the time, you know, know they think gonna it's going to be worse yachts. than it is. Yeah, you know, like seriously. They stay here. I guess. But pretty much so far what we know, I mean, today is Saturday. They're predicting it's going to come late Tuesday, early Wednesday. We're not going to be naive. We are going to make sure we're stocked with food for a few days, water, things for Finn and us. We're actually gonna do a little shopping later today. I already got gas in the car this morning, so that's done. There was already lines for me. Yeah, that's crazy. crazy. So we got that one checked off the list. But yeah, you guys, hopefully any of you out there in Canada, I haven't heard too much about Fiona. Yeah. That other storm. So let us know if you're out in Canada, how it is. Luckily, I think no news, it's good news, not yeah. too much on the news going on with it, so hopefully it wasn't as bad as they expected. We decided to take Finn out on a walk down here by the marina because as we were walking out of our building this morning, we saw a cop car, three of them, actually blaze past us in such a rush, really? and we're like, oh, they just pulled into our apartment complex. What's gonna happen next? You yeah, let's go see what's going on. None of the police officers are inside of their car. We have no idea where they are. They're, they're probably, definitely not over here. They're probably so, in the building somewhere. Probably in the building somewhere, somewhere. yeah. But Who knows, you guys? Wow, look at that yacht. Yeah, that's new one. That's really cool. Relentless. I like that one. That's cool. Relentless. So, I'm sure a lot of you guys are wondering like, if a hurricane does come, what are like our plants and everything like that? Yeah. So we'll get into kind of like our evacuation zone and everything like that later in the video. But pretty much for anyone that may be new to our channel, we live right on the intercoastal. So the only thing that separates us from the ocean is a park and then one. Yeah. Yeah, so there's the A1A beyond this park right here. This is a pretty large park, but there's no buildings. So there's really nothing to stop the wind, rain, anything like that. It is so beautiful out here. I know. I'm glad we're getting a day of sun. <laughs> I think tomorrow we get a little bit of sun and then I think the storms will still like kick in and come with all the rain. So we're gonna just enjoy this. We've already had a pretty productive morning. Jared edited, I went and worked out, which was yeah. awesome. Yeah. got back from that. And Other than that though, you guys, I think we're, like Brittany said, we're just gonna go and try and enjoy this as much as we can because who knows what's gonna be coming up the next three or four days. It could just be complete mayhem. Well, the cop cars are still here. Nothing really new going on. We thought maybe there'd be an update as we walked past, got done walking Finn, but there's nothing. If we hear anything, we'll definitely update you guys. vlogging on my phone right now. I did my little three miles down to the beach, along the beach, I should say. Jared decided he wanted to go to the gym and worked out. So I came out here just trying to just soak in all the sunshine I can because I know rainy weather is coming our way. But I did want to just tell you a little bit about, I know I've talked about it before, a lot of you guys do follow us for our infertility journey. And I know so many of you guys are going through similar things or similar things in life. After reading comments a few videos ago, when we asked how you guys were doing, just there's just so many heavy things in life. And I feel like this podcast, a lot of episodes don't have to do just with infertility. So you should go check it out. See if there's any that stand out to you, any episodes. I was just listening to one, it's her newest one, but they talk about how, you know, when you're going through hard things in life, it really makes you into the person, a better person and it builds character and you gain so many things from it. And the girl that was on, she was talking about how she went through miscarriages and so many hard things, but she learned patience through it. She's grown so much of this person. And anyways, it just kind of stood out to me and I wanted to share that with all of you because I thought it was super insightful. And sometimes you just need that little reminder that things do come to an end or at least they get better and you have your ups and downs, but 
it is building character and giving you traits that you wouldn't have otherwise. So anyways, there's my little food for thought today. Also, here's the beautiful ocean. I know you guys love seeing it. I wish we could all just spend a day at the beach together. Wash away our worries. <laughs> anyways, okay. I love you guys. We'll see you guys later. Hey guys, had to step out here real quick. Look at the storm that's coming in. I actually don't know which direction it's coming in from because out here over the ocean, it's clear. And then over there, it's definitely cloudy. Then right here, it looks, I don't know, cloudy slash clear. So maybe it's coming in from this direction. I have no idea, but looks like there's gonna be a big storm coming here soon. Luckily, it is not here yet. So I think I might go take out the scooter for a little bit. Guys, that scooter ride was a little bit short-lived. It started to rain, so Brittany and I were like, you know what, let's hop in the car, head on over to Target, and that's where we're at right now. We're trying to beat the crowd. I don't think you beat the crowd. We yeah. will see if there's anything <laughs> left in there. Supposedly, I mean, all around social media, and who knows, yeah, social we'll media see. news, it's hard to know what to believe. I know. Luckily, we do have a lot of this stuff already for hurricanes. Yeah, so. we really do. We have a ton of it, actually. Yes, we have quite a bit. What the things we do need are like, probably one more case of water. Just yeah, probably case. another case of water. Water. We have a couple cases already. You really just need food for a few days. Yep. So I want to get some like bread, peanut butter, jelly, just non-perishable foods, mm -hmm. snacks. A lot of people yeah. here in Florida tell us like, really, you're just going to be hunkered down if it does get bad. Mm -hmm. And so just have like things that you'd actually enjoy eating. Like yeah. snacks, chips, candy, stuff like that, just to help, you know, pass by the yeah. time. So we're going to pick up some of that <laughs> as well. And nothing too crazy. We also ordered a few things on Amazon that should be coming in the next couple of days. So we actually did a video on this, I think last year during hurricane season, and we have like pretty much all the stuff that you need for your emergency. So we're actually really set and ready yeah, to go there. Yeah, we have 72 hour kit. We have all of our papers in one place that we can grab if we need, if we do need to evacuate for some reason. And we checked the stuff recently through the stuff that had expired. Yep. Got so new you guys, stuff, we're so. good. We're like yeah. on it, man. Yeah. We're ready for that hurricane we're ready. if it comes. No. Let's go see if there's anything on the shelf. Well, you guys, the drink sections are clearing out. This is where all the bottled water is. And as you can see, it's pretty much all gone. So that does tell you people are getting water for sure, preparing for it. We are just gonna need to check at another store or Publix or maybe check another day for water. Hopefully we can find at least one case. We have a couple cases, but we're thinking maybe it'd be smart just to have one more, just in case. Well, if you guys could see what's in our cart, I think we'd wish there's a hurricane all the time. We found the snacks, they have plenty of them. <laughs> I'm picking up some pretzels. Yeah. Guys, I have been craving Tootsie Pops. Tootsie Pops are good. Do you remember Tootsie Pops? I saw the other thing you got there. I know. Wow, yeah. when's the last time you get that Two one for those? six bucks, they have all good. the Halloween candy. And I thought this would make great hurricane treats, you yeah. know? Yeah, killer good deal. And they last a while. But ruffles, I mean, guys, I'm a sucker for these. Ruffles, I actually wasn't really sure. into them until Brett and Maddie started making their little ruffle dip. Oh my gosh, they make they it make every it. Sunday, it's always with ruffles. They make this onion dip with like, oh my gosh, <laughs> with Lipton soup and sour cream, oh. or like Lipton onion soup and sour cream, you mix it together and then you dip it with ruffles. It's amazing. So good. Chips and things like that oh, are great things. They're non-perishable. We'll eat them regardless. That's my biggest thing. Like. When a hurricane's coming, just get things that you'll actually eat. Definitely picking up. This is my one of my all-time favorite snacks. You use cream cheese and onion, Ritz crisp. Jared's grabbing some goldfish. Baked flavor blasted. Baked sour flavor. Cream. Mmm, never Ooh. tried those. Usually you're a flavor blasted yeah, original. You know. I know, I gotta go with these two for sure. Those two? This right here. 
Oh waffles. my gosh. Buy everyone to the Netherlands or wherever they make Those are our favorite. You heat those up just a teeny bit, they oh, like no. melt the caramel. Oh, they're so good. So, yeah. so good. And anyone who's ever flown Delta. Mm -hmm. You no. know Biscoff. If you know, you know. You know, you know. Beef jerky, you guys, would be another thing that would be awesome to have during a hurricane. Good protein, stores well, and I know we will devour it. We love jerky. Oh, is someone tired? Look at that, y'all. Mid-yawn. Dare just reminded me, okay, this is honestly one of my favorite snacks. So these are the pretzel crisps, but they're drizzled in caramel and chocolate. These Reese's dipped ones are also divine. I think you might need a bag of each of these. So at least their section of canned foods is still pretty stocked up. Nothing like crazy empty shelf wise. Just the water is really the only thing that we've seen. Might need some milk. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> As of right now, our cart is pretty much packed with just snacks. So. Hurricane Hall means snacks. <laughs> we already have all the canned stuff, you know, the boring stuff, so this is the fun stuff. Hurricane Hall, done. I think we did pretty good, baby. About done. We, yeah. There's a few things they didn't have at Target that only yeah. still, but we still have a few days, so. That's true, yeah. Are doing <laughs> One thing that I've kind of become more accustomed to is the Target Circle within the app. So the Target app, that thing is amazing. We saved like 20% on all the soda that we got. I mean, every penny counts, right? we just got home looks like a storm is coming in really dark clouds over here I've been hearing some thunder but nothing too crazy yet so far Jared actually had to jump on a call really quick so I think we're gonna go ahead close out today's video you guys thank you so much for hanging out with us today we will be sure to keep you updated on our situation here in Florida and those of you in other areas keep us updated as well we just love you guys so much and with that we'll see you all next time bye Thank you.